Uh, hey, how's it everyone? Coach Jono here. Today I wanted to give a brief review of some of the respiratory muscle training devices that I have tried out and what I recommend as far as if you're just starting out or if you're becoming a little bit more advanced. And for those of you that don't know, respiratory muscle training is basically just, just like you're training for your muscles to get stronger, to get your run better, can train your diaphragm and your lungs to also get stronger. That diaphragm is a muscle, so it's important to try and train that muscle to get stronger so that you can breathe a little better during your events or just in, in life, just learning how to breathe a little bit better. So we're gonna be going over three different uh, devices. So first one I'm gonna start off with is called the Aqua Lung. Basically, it's just a nice little uh, snorkel scuba piece with a zip tie and then a regulator on the end that you can adjust, make it a little more difficult, less difficult. So this is the first one I started off with. This is a nice little, like, nice little device. Uh, I really liked it a lot. Um, you can really adjust that dial based on how much uh, resistance you want. Um, only downfall with this is being that it's zip tied on, if you do want to clean the inside of this thing, you have to break that zip tie or just kind of really open it up, get all the, the gunk out from your saliva and stuff that, that starts to get, get in there. So this is a nice little device. If you're just starting off, it's like 25 bucks just to get off Amazon. Next one is called the B-Fit Trainer. Sorry, not the B-Fit, the Breather Fit Trainer. And uh, the nice thing about this guy, which the Aqualung does not have, is that it has a uh, respiratory and inspiratory different dials. So some people are a little bit stronger on the inhale versus the exhale. So this is a nice way to train that. So it's just this dial on the left or the right, left for the inhale, right for the exhale. So if you feel as though you're having a little more trouble on the inhale, you can dial that up make it a little stronger, give you a little bit more resistance on the on the inhale versus the exhale, play around with it. They have a nice little app that can go along with it just to kind of help coach you through the, the inhale, the exhale. The only thing I wasn't a big fan of this, they recommend that in the mouthpiece like this isn't quite as good because as you're biting down, it changes your, your mouth structure and it, it doesn't, promote the breathing quite as much. So this one, you do have to kind of hold. It's harder to just hold in your in your lips or your mouth. So I like to have my hands free while I'm doing the breathing, whether I'm laying down or, or sitting up, driving in a car. So that was the only downfall of this. And it kind of looks like a smoking pipe. So people might think you're trying to get high as well when you're really just trying to get your lungs a little better. Um, but good thing is it does have a removable mouthpiece so you can just take that off wash it and comes with a couple different pieces so you can if you have someone else that's using it as well just swap out those those mouthpieces so that's a breather fit uh, about 49 50 bucks so also reasonably priced uh, if you're a little bit more advanced rather than the and you want the inspiratory and expiratory uh, training for the inhale and exhale the one I, I really enjoy and kind of promote for those of you that are a little bit more advanced is the, the AeroFit. So again, just has that, that nice little mouthpiece. So you can just hold it in your mouth with having your hands free. Much like the Breather Fit, it has the inspiratory and expiratory uh, different dials. So you can really make it stronger, less on the inhale, stronger on the exhale, vice versa. But what I really do like about this is their app is, is really nice and it'll give you uh, different lessons to, to follow along with. It'll also give you how hard to inhale or exhale, where with the breather fit, you know, you may just inhale for a certain amount of time, but how hard do you inhale or how hard do you exhale? That's one of the big factors on really being able to expend that used up air in your in your lungs in your diaphragm and really get it out forcefully so sometimes you do need to 
have that really forceful exhale. So that's what's nice about this is it, it will guide you as far as how hard to inhale, how hard to exhale, when to hold. It has tons of different programs that can go along with it. Uh, it's all Bluetooth, so it'll sync with your phone. So as you're watching the programs, that's how it knows how, how hard and um, how soft you're inhaling, exhaling when you're holding your breath. The downfall is it is much more expensive, uh, around $250, $300. So it is much more of an, in, an investment. Um, good thing is also this does have that remo removable mouthpiece so you can clean it fairly easily. So just a quick review. If you've never tried this respiratory muscle trainer, um, very cheap version is just to get a straw breathe through a straw and that'll kind of do that same thing. You're, you're limiting the amount of air you can inhale and exhale by creating a smaller channel. Um, but if you want to get a little bit more advanced, the different training devices can go a long way. So based on where you at, where you're at, your, how much you're willing to spend, you know, 25, 50 bucks or 300 bucks. Um, but either way, Recommend definitely getting one of these, trying them out, and um, expanding the, that strength in your diaphragm, just like you expand the strength in your muscles. And yeah, have fun, enjoy. Let me know which one you guys go with, if you do, and what you think.